Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary blind playthrough. You can witness how I get schooled by the game and uh, hopefully learn a few tricks about it. So far we've been reasonably successful, but now one of the havens has been attacked by aliens. So kill all enemies, key structures, protected 100%. I think these here are the key structures. And we have uh, some over here and here. They are actually quite dispersed. I can see letters up here and up here, which means I won't take that high ground there and fight the enemies. Euler Gotta keep going. begins to charge forward. Haven't found an enemy yet. Hmm. It's difficult. I'll save some more will points. He has just spotted someone, right? Did he or did he not spot someone? He was definitely interrupted. No, can't see anyone. Fair enough. As for our heavy, Shadow Realm moves forward. And we Do can it. jump all the way up here. Fantastic. Love it. That was actually quite good. DDG as a sniper moves forward, has spotted an enemy. Ooh, pretty, pretty far away. But with only one action unit left, there's no point in waiting let's make this happen Grell begins to move up as well has spotted a second enemy as was one of those regenerating enemies okay cool half cover ready to roll Dash to here. Dash into full cover. And I think we can even shoot once. Wow, that is far away. Well, one hit at least. Couple of extra shots, but didn't work out. No time to lose. Dranks begins to move up as well. Moving out. Moves into half cover. And that's a decent first turn, like nothing to really write home about, but we de dealt some damage. Targeting enemy. Oh, we do have friends on our side. That is fantastic, even better. They are attacking critical structure. And the aliens are trying to come our way. Okay, 
we need to deal with this guy. We definitely need to deal with this guy. Stands there with his automatic rifle. Quite in the open, our sniper might be able to take him out. Which then again is a problem because... Uh, I was born ready. Always trying to take things out, but that means we can never really move forward. Free aim. That's not really a good shot. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Ready to fire. Pretty far away. The guy takes some damage, but not a lot. Dranks moves up. Preparing to fire. Not a good shot. Much better shot. And that's a fantastic one. an okay shot not really great moves over taking aim Almost got him down. And we're going into full cover. Sniper moves up. And that could be a kill. Unfortunately, that's uh, not a kill. I have to wonder. We could move up here. Or we're jumping down. I think this is the better choice. High ground doesn't really serve a purpose if we can't utilize it. Ready to engage. Sad part about it is this is the one time where multiple shots would have been beneficial. Off into full cover. Looking for an angle. Shot, shot, shot. This weapon must be inaccurate. Not successful. Well, could have focus fired a little bit to better. Time for direct weapons Action. activated. We do have further support, so we're actually having the superior firepower here, it seems. 
escalating in Still trying to destroy critical infrastructure. And once they have closed uh, the gap, they deal a lot of damage. might be enemies as well I don't know they're starting to attack a generator so maybe we need to prevent that hard to tell it's just really a lot of enemies but also a lot of uh, Allied troops. Moving slightly Ready to engage. Infuriating. I'm going. Oiler moves up. Can't really hit anyone there. So we're pretty much dead in the water here. I want to continue to move forward. This is a good position for a triple hit or triple threat rather. One. That's two and three. Okay, we'll come back to you in a second. Taking aim. Good damage, I like that. Aiming. Ready to engage. Oh careful. Friendly fire is a thing. Missed. Moving over here, you can see quite a few enemies. Very good. Move slightly further. Okay, so. I think we only got Dilly G left. Oh. 
That's one. That was just a shot. Thought that that was a better shot overall. More of uh, the target was in range and We're certainly having the upper hand. It seems that the Synodrian uh, guys are hitting hard. And so far, I think neither any of our troops nor any of the Synodrian had even been damaged. But who knows, maybe there are going to be reinforcements, so... Let's not be too cocky. It's hard to actually move in when you're immediately when you're immediately like stuck at the very beginning and can only take a lot of shots. I haven't really seen that moving uh. is too helpful yet. Feels like standing in full cover and just having a good solid line of defense is the better play, oftentimes. I'm ready. Moves here. Bullseye. Deals a hell lot of damage. And forces this guy to become invisible again. Identifying target. We have a good line of fire. Rather take two shots this way. How does that taste? Unfortunately, to reload, so that's not optimal. Ranks moves up. Got you. Really solid hit. And moves back into this position. I'm repositioning. Target located. Oh, look at you. We found you. I tell you what. You won't be fleeing again. Going in. Axe to the face. Let me ask you a question. Good, a bit more aggressive. We will position ourselves over here because that guy could theoretically shoot over. Just want to make sure that's not happening. This here is a fantastic spot in terms of cover. Lots and lots and lots. And yeah, let's just overwatch. Oh, 
Good. I'm pretty happy how that turned out. Weapons activated. Just like we discussed. Engaging. Yeah, it seems with the exception of this one guy here. With the exception of this one guy, everybody else is dead. Moving. Moves up. Can't see anyone. Can't get a proper awesome. angle either. I'm going. Euler moves up. Ah, oh, that is really low. I think we're rather overwatching. Pushing on. Dash is over here. And then we're overwatching. Be right there. More overwatch in this direction. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, if he Anything decides to, uh, to move through the exterior, like around this corner here, he should definitely regret it. Established. Escalating aggression. Nice. Very nice hit. Good job. Yeah, Mrs. Grell. I'm here. It's still too far away. Do we have a plan? Overwatch. Put Grell over here. Overwatch. Right there. Can't really get into a good position with the sniper, which means we might as well just try to get on the rooftop soon. Let's roll. Good. Holding position. Very good. I don't need to be the hero here and risk any of our troops. The Sanibrian troops are strong. Oh. Well, that was not on our radar. I was about to say they have it well under control, but apparently they don't. The 
ready for action. Cool. So on my way. Rel moves in. Uh, ready. I don't like standing in the open, but if anyone comes down here, they should regret it. So we have a nice little fire line. Good, Dilly G finally Catch is on the rooftop. And we got Ian the Butcher Owens. Who will cover the stairs as well. Surprise. Oh, I thought I could drop down. Oh, that is disappointing. Can't wait Pumps either. Grell cannot just charge in. I'm here. Euler moves up one. This guy is a melee attacker. So we're positioning ourselves over here. Free aim. We go for the head. Almost down. Drangs moves up. That was a kill, probably. We got some level ups. Euler almost got his level up as well. Cool. That's a really safe and decent mission. I like what I'm seeing. So, let's go back to base and get everybody a level up. Items recovered, attitude. Substantially increases, that's good. And we got a nice little reward. Analysis of the Pandorians' behavior has revealed the location of their colony. A new Pandorian nest site is visible in the Geoscape and may now be targeted for an attack. Ooh. Where would that be? Oh, Pandoria Nest. Is that going to be a difficult mission? Should we do that next? Questions over questions and I have no answers. Let's take a look at our base management. I tell you what. Medical Bay. Faster recovery, training facility, 
living quarters. We are okay from a power consumption. I don't know if we get additional buildings. I suspect we do, so I'm not just building everything up. But it almost feels like we get we could use another another medical bay. Shattered realm. Ten points. The melee bash isn't bad. It would give him really good damage I tell you what we're going to do that this way we can just fly in and then melee bash might be a good combination as well So here we're just going to increase hit points. Level four. Well, we have a few things. Return fire is great. Choose a second class for 50. Mm. We'll take return fire first. The one thing that I learned about these games is take the cheap skills because oftentimes multiple cheap skills are better than one massive skill unless the second class is the best uh, thing since sliced bread in which case i would be wrong of course still leveling up a few more hit points and carry capacity so far that worked actually relatively well attacks from enemies within 10 tiles deal 25% less damage yeah that's a no-brainer thank you and that actually would also be a no-brainer because uh, with with this here we would have all of the media attacks and on top apparently the assault rifle pro uh, proficiency and accuracy bonus even on top of that well we're going to that will need to wait for now speed might also need to be increased over time and euler got his first actually second uh level up little green would join us now and we have tyler as well so we do have Eight, eight, uh, enemy, uh, eight soldiers, right? Yeah, but the Mandicore only holds six. Shite. That did not go according to plan. I thought I could bring up to eight. Well, got a second team, I suppose. Got to start early to have even more even more missions as far as i'm concerned this game is only limited like by the amount of time that you uh, that you spend level up for euler oh how could i forget him apparently he now got his level up yeah we're taking return fire That's just such a decent skill. Everybody is level 3 now. Oh, and I see. He got the level up because of that uh, building which gives experience. Which also is cool because, see, Little Green and Tyler now will get experience as we speak. Uh, no, we do, that's too expensive. There's a potential training center here. So what we're going to do, uh, training center, recruit here. What we're going to do is we're going to take another recruit.
personal and wow look at that we got a level up for a little green i see so these guys are leveling up just by being around that's not bad cool i love it marlin gardner why do you not have a so it's a berserker cool love it now what i don't love is she does not have anything equipped and wait a second um grell is also berserker right class berserker training okay and she is a berserker Okay, it just looks different because it was highlighted. Mm -hmm. Okay, manufacture. Do I need to manufacture the armor now? What kind of armor are you wearing? Aksu armor and a sword and a cipher handgun. Okay, so far that seems to work well. Damage 100. I see, okay, we don't, uh, again, don't have ammunition for that. Aksu armor, okay, good. So armor, Odin, Banshee, Guardian. Hmm, can everybody wear all of the armor? Guardian body armor. I would like to have really tough armor. That looks like a good armor selection. Now with equipment, where do I get these nasty melee weapons? Uh, first another med kit, yes. Doesn't seem like we have any melee weapon. How could you be a berserker and forget your your sword at home? Is it like one of these things? Yeah, I don't need a weapon. I'm too cool for that. No, I must be overlooking something. Well, we hired her, but she forgot her weapon. Cool. Cool story, bro. I tell you what, you don't deserve a name until you have a weapon. Marlena. Before that is the case, which is going to be there. Good. In the meantime, it's time for the Pandorian Nest. Locate and eliminate uh, hatchling sentinels. Be aware of Pandorian defense system. Sentinel triggers if a soldier is in sensor rates or attacks them. X will hatch if the soldier gets close. Enemy reinforcements will arrive continuously from areas marked with the symbol. Well, that is what we're going to see in the next episode. If you are continuously respawning on this channel, feel free to hit that like button because it might trigger a couple of uh, blossoming alien uh, spawns as well and help the channel to grow. Mwah. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.